As he does every single Friday about this time, it's Michael Doc Davis with Undocumented News. Go, Welcome. Doc! What's up? That's right. You can find more Undocumented News out on UndocumentedNews.com. Woohoo! Heck yeah. All right. This first one comes out of two different sources. I, no, that sounded gross. <laughs> I knew, Mike immediately turned red. I knew he was like, ooh. All right. This one, first one comes out of, uh, the first part of it comes out of Washington Post. It was a Florida article. Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> well, actually, after I read it, it was, uh, it seems older folks like senior citizens are now using more and more marijuana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess this means that AARP might also stand for Americans are retired potheads. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Here's something interesting in a possibly related story. This is the second piece that comes out of UPI.com, a Kentucky article. <laughs> 1,700 pounds of marijuana on a semi-truck en route to be destroyed seems to have just disappeared. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Mm, wow. Wow. <laughs> what a great magic act. Call Lance Burton. Yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot where it went, officer. That's right. All right. You uh, thought older people were slow before, but now they're just plain stoned. <laughs> <laughs> he got the, uh, the Yardell's ice cream guy. We, we, we deliver all we want. We eat the rest. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This next one comes out of the, Glo- the Globe, a Missouri article. A Kansas man has filed a lawsuit against the Kansas City Royals after his eye was almost poked out with a weenie, yeah. a wiener, a hot dog wiener, at a baseball game by the Royals mascot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, the article made me think. Frozen of the or fresh? I don't know. It was hot, steaming hot. <laughs> Red All right, th- this article actually made me think of the Christmas story. Yes. The you tongue, you poke you'll, your eye out? You'll shoot your eye out, yeah. The Apparently, this poor guy didn't see the wiener coming. And <laughs> pow! Right in the eye. What a wiener head. Oh, baby. Oh, man. All right, this last one comes out of NBC News. The California article. <laughs> Size D implants seem to have saved a woman's life when a bullet was shot through the building where she works, and it entered the implant in her chest, just stopping millimeters, and I'm saying just millimeters from her heart. And he knows millimeters. I know millimeters, yes. Uh, um, you know, your wife was <laughs> talking right. to me. and Anyway. Uh, no, you can't get right. on that one. Yeah, I know. He kind of got me on that one. All right, here we go. Zing. It's the last piece. Basically, ladies, y'all really have a new excuse for getting those implants if you need one. Bulletproof breast. Bulletproof breast, <laughs> yes, yes. So I really guess an implant in some situations may be the breast protection against bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Stop him! It's Michael Doc Davis, Undocumented News. You can get it where if you if you missed it. Hey, and get it out on UndocumentedNews.com. All right. You missed the weenie story, you can hear it again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Too bad the wiener didn't miss him. <laughs> hey, there's going to be a wiener toss out of the chili with a kick, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if y'all knew that. That's one of the games that we're doing out there. Yeah. More about that coming up. Point ninety four point.